exit 139 on I-10 in Louisiana. And we're at a truck stop, but it's not just any truck stop. It's a little different than most. And I thought some of you might be interested in seeing what it's all about. So come on, let's go see. about this guy. His name is Tony and he lives at this truck stop. He's a tiger. Right now he's being a little lazy. He had a mate and she died and for some reason they stuffed her and put her over the salad bar. But <laughs> I know that sounds crazy but that's where she is and I'll take you in there and show you that too. and take a look around, okay? all in just a little bit, okay? Now, the, the white tiger that you saw, she's no longer over the salad bar. I guess people kind of got freaked out about having a dead tiger over top of the salad bar, but they've moved her over top of a t-shirt case now. And if you're looking for this place and you're coming from the west, this place is just a little east of the Atchafalaya Swamp. Now, what's the relevance of that? <laughs> Nothing. I just like saying Atchafalaya. It's so fun. <laughs> We're going to head on down the road, and I'm going to cook dinner tonight. Don't know where we're going to stop yet, but I might throw in a little of that for you, too. Okay? Okay. Got this on heating. I put a little bit of butter flavored spray on there to keep it from sticking. I've opened the pizza crust and I'm going to try and put this on here. Oh, if I can get it apart. I hope it works. <laughs> We've never tried this, have we? No. So if it fails, you guys will see it just as oh. fast as uh, we do. I mean, and we're not going to claim it works, and it don't. If it works, it works. If I can get the dough apart, Mick. <laughs> All right. We'll pause it and then come back after she gets the dough apart. just took it and unrolled it the best I could. And I cut it. Well, I need to cut one more. But I, I cut, I'm going to make four small ones here out of it. And I put it on here, and I just kind of pull it around to make it stretch out a little bit. And then, once it gets, oh no, it's stuck. Okay. Once it gets to where it's kind of solided on the one side, I'm going to flip it over and put some spaghetti, well, pizza sauce and um, some cheese and pepperoni and mushrooms. Kelly. Yeah. Let's show them what brand you used. Yeah, I think it's a generic. Yeah. No. It's just in a can. Just like from the, Walmart. Like the biscuits. I didn't 
get the bottom here to flip. If I can get under it. Okay. And I got. Show them the bottle, what it looks like. Yeah, I got this kind because it's easier to ju just stick in the fridge after you've opened it. Show, show them, turn it around so they can see what kind of bottle it is. See, it's just a little plastic squeeze bottle. A pizza sauce, correct? Yeah, Contadina. However much you want on there. I don't know how this is going to work, but hey, we're about to find out. Nick, you want to put that down for a minute and open up my the mushrooms for us? Okay. okay. Here we go. I'm putting the mushrooms on now. And you just spread the sauce out over the... Yeah, I spread the sauce out over the dough. It smells um, like pizza. Got all the right ingredients for pizza, huh? I don't know. I probably won't put a lot because I, I got four pieces here. So I sliced up some. I just put this spoon in that I. <laughs> okay. And you and you yeah. cut this pepperoni from yourself, right? Yeah, and I just got a stick and sliced the pepperoni up. I'm gonna put a lot. And then I'm gonna put sauce there on my hand. And tell them why you're using cheddar too, Kelly. Because I ran low on mozzarella. <laughs> so you're going to mix it together, huh? Yes, I'm just going to put a little bit of each around on there. And you can, I, I guess you can put whatever you want on there. You can make like an Alfredo, like a chicken Alfredo or a vegetable pizza, whatever. Huh? Veggie or use pesto instead of sauce or whatever you want. How are you going to get the cheese to melt, you think? Or you think it's going to, hopefully it's going to melt on its own, huh? Well, I'll tell you, I, I, I've done stuffed mushrooms on here and the cheese melts great, but takes a little while. I hope it's not, don't get too icky. I don't want a burned crust. I got it turned way down. Need to throw this away. Alright, the you can see the mozzarella and cheese that all the cheeses are starting to melt on it. And I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of this garlic. If it'll come out. <laughs> there it comes. Because I like garlic. And leave it a few minutes longer, maybe turn it a little. Oh, come on, stay on there. Okay, it looks done enough to work on there. You've <laughs> got a kind of a burny looking bottom, but hey, we'll have to see how it turns Well, you give your own review and be honest about it. Like you're cheese. gonna be the guinea pig today. Uh -huh. oh, I want some pepperoni. Oh. I'm just gonna grab it. Oh. It's hot. It's pizza. It actually tastes like regular pizza. I need to get another one on here. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I hope y'all come back. And feel free to like or subscribe and comment. I'd like to see what you have to say. Have a great day.